Phew, that was a close one. But now we can get back to business. Yeah, about that. I, I just got something I need to check on real quick. Um... Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, that's... That's gonna be a problem. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Job Simulator. So last episode, we began our job in the restaurant, and I poisoned a child's pizza, and potentially ruined a couple's engagement, and I'm pretty sure that I ate a steak that was older than I am. And yet, here we are, still open for business. So I'm kind of left wondering what could go wrong. I got the tunes going this time. I wasn't really feeling the quiet of last episode, okay? I underrated the funk. But are you ready to open? Because I'm not ready to open, okay? First, we need to feed the fish. You always forget, and they are part of the workers' union. So we're just going to have to toss in some breads. <laughs> I found that out in between episodes when I was making a thumbnail. They are very interesting little goldfish piranhas. Yeah, I can see why we have them on staff. We could always just throw kids in there if we really needed to, right? You can't poison now, them all. The kids are all finished with their pizza and now they're ready for cake. We do get a free birthday cake, right? So they live. Can't argue with that. Human-run restaurants were morally obligated to provide free cake on children's birthdays. Good thing we have a microwave that can quickly mutate ingredients into food. Hold on. We gotta take like three big steps back. We can mutate ingredients? I don't think that's the word you were looking for there, Chief. And I'm also I'm not entirely sure that we're running a moral establishment. Well, would you look at that? Kids managed to survive a mouthful of glass and allergic tomatoes. Okay, so we need to get our mutating microwave. You see, I knew that it was a good idea to shield my balls from this thing last time. Why do you keep it at crotch level? Like, just because you guys don't have a ball sack doesn't mean mine won't turn into Randy's from South Park. <laughs> so, we need an egg, any ingredients we want, and a flour? I, I don't think you use, like, petals. You use, like, fl cooking... Fl oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. It it's fine. It's fine. Flour is flour, right? The robots, they'll never know. So, we're just gonna toss in a flour. Uh, an egg, and then anything else. Ooh, that anything else is gonna be real interesting. I'm even gonna treat him right and not put any shell in there. Look at that, I'm learning. I could probably dispose of it with the fish. <laughs> but it's so much more fun to chuck stuff at your face. And then just add whatever you want. Uh... How about we toss in... Cakes 101! Yeah, cakes in one easy step, in three seconds or less. Maybe I should have read this before. Egg, flour, optional flavor. Does this count as optional flavor? Even a human can do it. Listen, man, th th that's kind of racist, okay? <laughs> that's a little ignorant. Hmm. Not entirely sure that counts. I do remember hearing that Timmy is a big fan of tomatoes, so how about tomato? There we go. Okay, now we just... Uh, just kind of... There we go. Any second now. Okay. Did that work? Nope, that that super didn't work. <laughs> we might have a problem, boss. Maybe it just needs another few seconds. It's not quite finished. I don't actually know what happens if I nuke it again. Oh, oh, bad, oh, bad things, bad things. It's getting blacker. Good? Nope, nope, super not good. Um... Okay, let's just... Ooh, okay, we've separated them. Huh. Yeah, we might want to feed this one to the fish. Hopefully they don't mutate or something like... Ah, oh, swing and a miss. Okay, that looks good down there. Don't worry about it. This is actually quite... radioactive. <laughs> is it supposed to do that? Should I have not put the book in with it? I was gonna say, it's quite lovely. Look at that. Can I blow out their candle for them? Oh! Oh! Um... It's good. Yeah, we only make half cakes here, guys. It's, a uh, gourmet. Good? Good! 
The little things in this game just absolutely do it for me. Like the fact that the music automatically turns down when somebody is speaking so you can hear them. But then when there's quiet, the music turns back up again. It's just, it's genius. It makes editing these videos so much easier. Bye. Hey boss, that party left a huge pile of dirty dishes. We're gonna need your help to get through these. They're pretty nasty, so make sure you use a good score to sew. But they, they only had one thing. I'm your boss, so I, I'm your boss and you're my boss. Who's your boss, the fish? Not gonna lie, I have a sink full of dirty dishes right next to me that I'm not cleaning in real life. So I'm not totally sure why I'm doing this in VR, but here we are. Great, thanks for your help. Okay, there we go. So the kids are done, right? No, no more kids. Don't bring them in here. Okay, the fish are getting hungry. On the upside, it looks like that book stopped glowing. So hopefully we won't have teenage mutant ninja fish soon. You Whoa. There. I need your help. The health inspector's on his way over, and I don't think we're gonna pass inspection. You need to clean this place up. Now make it safe and sanitary. You can start by destroying all this old fruit. <laughs> what, where the hell did he come from? We're gonna have to do a little fourth wall break in here, guys. Quite literally. Because morbid curiosity. Oh, I see. Okay. So we've got people working in the blue void. Helpful piece of advice, they really don't like it when you stick your head through the wall. Kinda makes the game crap itself. But I should be back in order now. Listen man, I'm not complaining, but it'd be nice if the other chef actually cooked something every now and then. He wants me to get rid of these. Does it matter how? Oh! Okay! Nope, doesn't matter. That's perfectly fine. Ooh, oranges. Mmm, there we go. <laughs> I still love that the little pieces bounce around. What is this? Eating a dodgeball? Oh, it's a grapefruit. I don't even like grapefruit. Okay, there's one thing taken care of. How about those sprinklers? See that little thing up on the ceiling? Try chucking something at it. See what happens. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Do you see that little thing? We robots call it a sprinkler. What do you mean, throw something at it? Uh, just like this? Oh god, throwing stuff in VR is just my nightmare. Ah. I guess it's not working. Oh well, what are the chances of there being a fire in here anyway? Now we need to deal with any potential insect problems. Look around and see if you can find anything. Okay, that's cute, but that's not how sprinklers work, right? The fire doesn't throw a mug at them to turn it on. Oh. Oh, it's not cute. It's actually really, really gross. There's all so many little buggies. You guys are like little computer Yikes, chips. That's not good. You need to do something about these guys. Get rid of them quick. <laughs> Why do you move with me? <laughs> do something to get rid of them, huh? Like, uh, gather them all up in a cup and bake them into something, maybe? Yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, making something for somebody who I don't particularly like. Okay, so we got all the little buggies. Um, what do we want to make? Do you want anything? Maybe we don't need to turn them into food. I'm kind of curious what would happen if we microwave them. <laughs> I mean, maybe nothing. Maybe they're like roaches. I well, I guess that'll have to do. Here comes the health inspector. Oh! Okay, everybody stop what you're doing. It's inspection time. Hmm, yes. Interesting. No hmm. giant bugs here! It's questionable. Hmm, alright then. I'll just tally these results. And it looks like you've passed this time. Oh. Phew, that was a close one. But now we can get back to business. Yeah, about that. I, I just got something I need to check on real quick. Um. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a problem. Maybe LaGrill will help us out here? I'm just going to... Ah, and then... Does that work? Maybe? Okay, that that worked. D 
Did we only mutate one? Oh, we only mutated one. And I get to keep them. Oh, that's genius. Okay, so you guys can just hang out right there. World's most average worker indeed. <laughs> and now, the next time somebody comes in who I don't like... Why would I try... Actually, no, it's not that bad. Crunchy. We kept our B for barely passing, so that's good enough for me. You know, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, hey, you chef. again. There's a bot here to film an episode of some TV show with you? Hmm. Well, they say it was already booked ahead of time, so... Well, just do whatever they say. Like, throw bugs at them? TV show? Hey, oh, jeez. A TV bot. We're doing a show on how these organic nutrient packs are made. So I just need to record some footage of you going through the various steps, okay? First step is to blend up this protein pill. <laughs> Let's get a shot of you doing that. You look like you're shooting something a lot more 18 plus, showing up with a pizza and yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> okay, you want me to blend up this pill? That's a pretty big pill, dude. Does it go in your mouth? Uh, there we go. Hey, <laughs> okay. Great, that was good. Now let's get a shot of you putting this flavor packet in the microwave. Yeah, about that. Microwave's out of order there, Chief. Got a uh, little infested, we'll say. People were wondering last episode if you can uh, blend this. I don't know why everybody was so curious about it, but I'll give it a try. Ooh. Ooh, nope. I think that's a big old no. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm losing protein. Okay, you just go back there. We might need you. The sprinkler isn't exactly working. We're all mug at you to turn you on. So you want me to uh, microwave your flavor packet. What are we making again? Microwavable. All right, so we need to just toss oh, you in there. All right, it's in there. Close the door and let me get a shot of the microwave or run it. All right, everybody's following along at home. We got our fully expanded flavor cube. Beautiful. Now just pour that blended protein fluid onto the cube and we are done. Okay. Yeah, I got a little bit left. We should be able to do that. Just, uh... Job, human. Really appreciate it. Oh, one more thing. Can I get a shot of you eating it? Just act like it's real delicious, all right? Uh, I don't know, man. I was gonna say, it looks like a chocolate chip cube. A big cookie. I'm really happy I didn't bake a bug into it. I was inclined to. Oh, it's like meat. Why? Why is it like chocolate chip cookie meat cube? Hey! Thank you so Yum. much, human. This is some great footage. This episode's gonna be fantastic! <laughs> Never thought I would eat a chocolate chip cube that tasted like feet. Where did Jobbot go? Usually he'd be here staring into my soul right around now. It's a little bit concerning. Hey, human, check this out. I found this rare Turbo Ghost Death Nova Pepper. Can you prepare it for me? I like it. H-O-T. How? Yes, I know how to spell hot. Thank you. Okay, um... Prepare it how? Oh, put some heat into it. Put some heat into it. Like that? that? Is that heat? Oh yeah, there we go. Come on, that's not hot enough. Can't you do something else? I can do that again. No, that doesn't count. Okay, more heat. Oh, listen, dude. I I'm gonna go with the toaster, okay? I think we've seen enough of the microwave today. <laughs> Not sure I trust it, so... Like... That? Nope, that doesn't count. Okay, um... Careful. There we go. Oh, I think he does want the microwave. Ah... Alright. It's just... Oh, man. No, he doesn't want that either! What do, you, what do you want me to do? Oh. Yeah, I guess that'll have to do. Get it here. It's your death, I guess. What kind of restaurant are we? People just show up, they're like, yeah, here's a pepper. Do things to it. Where were you? <laughs> Decided to go out back to the blue void and talk to our other chef. All right, next customer. We're on a roll. We're doing good. I'll get the funk in my veins this episode. Hey, chef. 
We got three bots out here who ordered the special. Not sure what that means, but that's what they want. Ordering the special means placing your trust in the ship. Just those bots Oh, I'll give them something special, all right. That's as big as it's going to get. And uh, I think they would really enjoy that. Yeah, that's going to be meal number one. Mm, that looks interesting. Send it off to the customer. <laughs> interesting is definitely the word that I would use. Okay, now let's try a smoothie. Because I'm willing to bet that I can blend bugs in a smoothie. So let's just get rid of that. All right. Uh, put a couple bugs in and give them a blend. Ooh, that's a fun color. Can add a little cheese, and uh, yeah, I definitely think that they would want a cookie and a potato. Let's blend that up. Mmm, yeah, you see, it goes from black to brown. Isn't that just lovely? We can top things off with uh, just a smidgen of uh, jelly powder. There we go. Nice and spicy. Okay, yeah, I think they're really gonna like that. So we can pour that out in a mug. Mmm. You know what? I think this one is so good that uh, we're gonna give them a couple of servings. Yeah, I made a nice big batch of it. <laughs> I'm sure they will feel great. I, you know what? I can even garnish it with a bug. Maybe? Oh, 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 careful. Don't want to spill it. Ah, crap. You know what? Garnish is relative. So how about we just... There we go. <gasps> oh. What a fascinating dish! Hmm, that was only one person's meal. I'm guessing the next one is going to the cop. You guys could have been a little bit more specific. I think next we're gonna try a soup. How about a bacon and bacon soup? Can I do that? Just do a little bit of that. Some bacon for the pig. <laughs> I don't know how much water I need, but that should probably be good. Pot on max. Yeah, that, that's definitely how you make bacon soup. Don't even worry about it. I, I know what I'm doing. Ding, soup is done. Ding, soup is done. <laughs> bacon and bacon soup. Another beautiful looking meal, chef. Thank you. Thank you. Gourmet <gasps> as anything. You look so truly special. <laughs> yeah, special's a word for it. Here's one thing I'm really curious about. If we go and blend a magazine just oh oh there we go you gotta be real careful with it then we put that on bread i'm an artist at work okay don't judge me and we're just gonna microwave that with a little bit of cheese come, come here cheese cheese don't struggle okay this is gonna happen we're making magazine pizza <laughs> just like uh that maybe Possibly? Yeah, there we go. Okay, one order of magazine pizza. All right. <laughs> they wanted something special and they certainly got it. Nice cooking, human. Thank you. When I have to, I can give it my all. Holy smokes, this is way too hot. Oh. oh sounds like the guy with the hot pepper from earlier. Yeah, now would be the time for the sprinklers to work, right? Hey, um. Chef. Uh, oh, 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 dumb. Okay. <laughs> this is why you don't microwave stuff. Oh, crap. No, we're good. We're good, right? Yeah. Not the tunes. The funky fresh tunes. Do we really need to put him out? Maybe we should let him suffer for a minute. Yeah, he kind of deserves it. <laughs> Stop being such a wuss and hold still. God. Whoa, there. Thanks, human. You really saved my circuits. I can now see why I didn't blend this. <laughs> that would have been very bad. <laughs> What's the matter, Jawbot? You don't like a little spritzin'? I swear that microwave is haunted. Everything you put into it comes out bad. I just got word from the TV studio, you know, they liked your performance on that commercial you did, so they're sending in a camera crew. They're gonna put you in a reality show. In the distant past, having your own reality show was seen as the peak of human achievement. Good work, human. I guess, man, I didn't sign up okay, for this. Boss, let's get those cameras set up already. Oh, God. Oh, God. What do you want? Ready to go, boss. You ready, human? Okay, yep. bring in the talent. The talent? Female talent? 
Maybe. Ooh. Are you a guy? Me, human. I'm Chef Bot Let's oh, get this ball rolling, what? Shall we? Okay, we'll start with the meatball scene. And action. What are you waiting for, human? Get cooking! These meatballs aren't gone. Is that how you cook for your family at home, human? Disgusting! Why is Gordon Ramsay bot throwing meatballs at me? Yes, chef. Yes. Okay. I, I know exactly. Oh, I lost a meatball, chef. I hope that's okay. Yeah, you only need three. Okay, so one, two, three. I'm gonna make one for myself because you're always supposed to taste, right? You gotta taste. I've watched plenty of your shows, okay? They're all on YouTube. They're bootlegged. It's great. Oh, those look so bad. My neural network associates them with literal garbage. So are you going to serve them or just let them sit there and get even more disgusting? I'm gonna wait till they putrefy into carbon so that I can flick them at your stupid face. Uh, just like that? Good. Truly despicable. My kids could cook a meal a hundred times better than that, and they're graphing calculators! Cut! <laughs> that was good. Well, great so far, human. I know I can be a little loud on camera, but it's all just part of the show, you know? Oh my all god. Right. Scene two. That's the freeform cooking part. And action. You worthless chemical based meat bag. Get to cooking. Make something good. Show us what you can do, if anything. Don't you call me a chemical based meat bag, you floating toaster? You want to see how good I am at cooking, huh? How about I do something like this? Huh? You like that? Did you ever think about that? Your stupid sandwich! Everybody loves meat, okay? What if we just reach into the back and grab... Yeah, that's probably meat, right? Sure, why not? Uh, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Just, just chuck it all on there. It could be a meme. Ooh, don't that you badmouth my memes. Oh, 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 um, 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 you know what, maybe, maybe we just don't use those. Maybe, maybe we just do something like that there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's what you call me. That's a wrap, folks. Get your retinas checked. It's great performance, human. I've got a lot of respect for you after this. Hope to work together again sometime. Farewell. Did you just have your programming overlap a little bit? He went green. Well, you know how to get back to the museum if you want to. I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want. Oh, that's it. I want more. He was still bad-mouthing me when he turned green and then cut himself off. Dude needs to update his firmware or something like that. Oh, man. I gotta say, this wasn't exactly my favorite, but it was still really cool. Probably because I haven't seen any of it before. I'm amazed that it's over. I could have swore there would be more. I never even got to figure out what the fish would do to meat. If you dropped a full cow in there, they would just strip it to the bone in seconds. Okay, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Job Simulator, guys. And we only have one more job left, which is kind of upsetting because I'm really enjoying this game. I want there to be more. A lot of people have also been telling me to try Infinite Overtime. Whatever that is. I actually have no idea. So without spoiling too many things, maybe give me some idea what it is in the comments and then I'll, I'll try to do an episode of that once I'm done with the auto mechanic next episode. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.